Hi, I'm Holly Perkins and welcome to the Self Channel. So today I have for you five ways to mix up your push-ups. I love push-ups because it's a great way to really increase your upper body strength as well as address strengthening the core. If you're ready, I'm ready, so let's get started. So we're going down onto the ground. First exercise is called my unilateral push-up. So you're gonna start all the way down onto the ground and you're gonna cross one arm in front of your chest. The other hand is outside of your shoulder and your feet are a little bit wide for this push-up. You're gonna focus on this hand that's down onto the ground. You're gonna push up, come off to the side and then come back down to that start position. Think about keeping your body rock solid so that you're moving as one unit from your head all the way out through your heels. You don't want those hips to sag at all. Really activate through the core because that's where you get the strengthening and even some toning through your midsection. And last one, and relax. Make sure you do the other side as well. Next exercise, bring your heels up towards your hips and your hands are in line with your chest right about where your bra strap might be. Keep your elbows tucked in and from here I want you to push up Really drive through the base of the palms, coming all the way down towards the floor, keeping that upper body nice and strong, and relax. Okay, so this next exercise is called a reverse eccentric push-up. And I love this motion because what it does is we're going to work the most beneficial part of a push-up, which is the lowering phase, and we're gonna take out the hard part of a push-up. The beauty of this exercise is it's gonna make you strong through that eccentric movement, so when you do all your other push-ups, you're gonna have better technique. Okay, so we're gonna start at the top of a traditional push-up, nice and strong, abs drawn in, and all you're gonna do is slowly lower to the ground, and then you're gonna release, push back, reset and do it again. So I want you to really exaggerate and emphasize and stay nice and strong on that lowering phase. This is the eccentric movement of the muscle and this is where we actually develop strength. Let's do one more, nice and strong, slowly lower and relax. Great. Next exercise. So we're gonna do a traditional military push-up. I love this exercise because by broadening your base of support, you can actually perform the exercise with better technique, therefore getting stronger better. So we're gonna place our hands wide from the shoulders, and then you're gonna step back into a traditional push-up position, but the feet are wider than normal. Draw in through your abs, keep your neck in alignment, reaching straight out through the head, back through the heels. Move the body as one unit, dropping down halfway and pushing right back up. So just make sure you continue looking down without dropping your head. Engage through the abdomen and the core so that you really get that core strengthening and stay nice and strong. Let's do two more. And one more, keep breathing. And relax, great job. Next exercise is a variation of that, which is a staggered push-up, and it's really cool because what it does is putting the hands in different positions just helps to bring up some variation to your push-ups. So coming back out into somewhat of a traditional push-up, you're gonna put one hand forward and one hand a little bit lower than where you would normally put them, so you're in a staggered position. And from here, we're just gonna come down into a half push-up and push up nice and strong. Really drive through your triceps, Keep those abs drawing inward. You wanna make sure that your hips aren't dropping. Again, remember to keep the body moving as one unit. And we're gonna do one more. And relax. Make sure you switch up your hands and do the other side as well. And there you have it, five ways to mix up your push-ups. I'm Holly Perkins, thanks for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe to the Self Channel, hashtag five ways. Share your thoughts below, let us know what you think, and I'll see you next time.